two cyclones were roaring towards Australia on Thursday with residents scrambling for shelter as one of the tempests rapidly picked up intensity, with warnings of a very destructive core. Tropical Cyclone Lam, a Category 3 storm, was tracking towards the sparsely populated Northern Territory Aboriginal communities of Mylanimbi and Gupuwi Yak, with landfall expected early Friday morning. Of more concern was Tropical Cyclone Marcia further south, which was reclassified from a Category 2 to 4 within hours and a warning that it could strengthen to 5 by the time it comes ashore in heavily populated southeast Queensland. Severe Tropical Cyclone Marcia has become slow-moving and continues to intensify, Category 5 forecast for landfall, the Queensland Bureau of Meteorology tweeted with the storm expected to power across the coast on Friday morning. Cyclones, which are common in northeastern Australia, range from 1 to 5 in strength, with 5 the most severe, capable of causing structural damage, uprooting trees and overturning caravans and trailers. Massive seas, a deluge of rain, flash flooding and gales force winds of up to 270 km per hour. 165 miles per hour are forecast along with abnormally high tides when it hits somewhere between the towns of Mackay and Gladstone. Queensland has been smashed by several major storms and cyclones over the past few years with Cyclone Oswald, also a Category 5, flooding parts of the state in 2013, racking up insurance claims of some US$977 million. 765 million US dollars. This is a serious event. It has changed drastically since this morning, said Queensland Premier Anastasa Palaszczuk. Queenslanders need to be prepared now. This is an important time now not to panic but to make sure you have your preparations in place. Towns near the eye of the storm were in lockdown and cyclone centers set up in Mackay, Proserpine and Yepoon some 670 kilometers, 415 miles, north of Brisbane. Palace Chizuk said all Queensland hospitals had activated their emergency plans and additional ambulance services had been moved to some areas. In Yepoon, supermarket shelves were emptied and sandbags filled as locals readied for a long night. It's the unknown that's the worry. Dean Busby told the Brisbane Courier Mail newspaper as she taped up windows in her homewares shop and cafe. We've had so many close.